If you're a personal trainer looking to get fully booked with PT clients, then you're gonna to need to know how to pitch like a pro. In today's video, I'm gonna show you two simple steps that allow you to pitch with much more confidence, feel a lot less salesy and sleazy, and actually massively increase your conversion rates. Hi, I'm Matt Robinson from the Profit Podcast, and this week we're bringing you our pitching process that allows you to convert more sales. Now, before I became a personal trainer, I worked in retail for WH Smiths, and part of my job involved selling Terry's chocolate oranges for a pound. I had to ask every customer, would you like to buy a Terry's chocolate orange today? And I hated it. I couldn't sell them. I didn't believe in them. I didn't like asking people for money and it just felt wrong to me. And that then meant that when I became a personal trainer, I had a lot of limiting beliefs and a lot of hang-ups around sales. I often find that this is the same case for a lot of other personal trainers. They don't like asking for money, they find sales sleazy, and they've got very little confidence when it comes to pitching and talking about money. So how do we overcome that? How do we get you feeling more confident about selling your services? Before we go into the exact steps, let me first talk to you about the mindset. Now, the mindset we like trainers to adopt is a prescriptive mindset. You are the expert. This person is coming to you for your help. You are here to paint them a picture of where they're at, where they want to get to, and what that gap in between is going to require. Based on that, you can accurately predict and prescribe what that person is going to need to help them best. So we want you to adopt that prescriptive mindset so that you can give them a clear recommendation. We don't want to give these people 20 options. We don't want to say, well, you could do this, or you could do that, or you could do this over here. We don't want to do that. We want to give them the recommendation that's right for them based on having listened to everything that they've talked about with us so far in that sales conversation. And while we're talking about that sales conversation, make sure you've checked out our previous videos in this series and the previous podcast episodes in these series because this pitching section is actually a fair bit of the journey into the sales process. There are other steps involved as well. We've already talked about at this point the seven steps to selling before the sales. We've talked about creating an emotional case in your consultations and we've talked about creating a logical case as well. So those three parts come before this one. Now, assuming you've done those things that I've mentioned a moment ago in the previous episodes and the previous videos, the next step is to transition your sales conversation from planning to money, okay? We need to make that transition. So at this point, I recommend that you do the following. I recommend that you review everything you spoke about with this person so far. You talk to them about what their goals were, what's got in the way, why they're in the position that they're in now, and what it's going to take in terms of interventions to get them out of that place and moving forwards towards that position they want to be in. We're getting very clear on what it is that we're here to do, okay? You then use this as a little segue into making that prescriptive recommendation. So you can say to the person, based on everything we've talked about today and all the things you've told me you're going to need support with, my recommendation is that we start by seeing each other X amount of times per week. For most people, that number is probably gonna be at least two. So my recommendation to you is that we're going to start by seeing each other twice a week. I want to make sure that we get this journey off as best as we can and create lots of momentum. How does that sound to you? We then go quiet at that stage, we'll let the person think about the information we've just given them. Something I wanted to touch on that you will have noticed right there is that I've not gone into any numbers. The only number I've mentioned is how many times per week I want to see them. Quite often when people talk about sales, they'll use lots of numbers. They'll say, well, if you see me this time, this many times, it's this much, this many times is this much, it's this much for one session. If you do this package, it's that, and I'll throw in this for free. Forget all that. Get them thinking about one number and one number only. How often are they going to see you? And then go quiet, let them think about it. Once they've responded, you then need to talk about price. So they will either say, that's fine, how much does it cost? Or they might say, oh, well, it depends how much it costs. 
which is when, then when you can give them a nice straightforward answer. If you've pitched twice a week, and let's say you're gonna charge a session fee of 40 pounds, just as a nice round number, we can say to the person, well, based on the package that I've recommended, the investment today is going to be 80 pounds per week. And again, we go quiet, we let them think about it. We give them one number to think about, nothing else. We've not ummed and ahed and said, well, you can save money by doing this or you can spend more by doing that. We've given them something very simple to think about. They've now only got one number to compute. In their head, they're thinking to themselves, can I afford 80 pounds? And is this journey that I'm about to embark on worth 80 pounds a week? Hopefully, having followed all the processes we've set out so far, there's gonna be very little in the way of objections. If there is, that's something we're gonna talk about in next week's video and next week's podcast episode. But most of the time, there is very little in the way of objections at this point, other than if the person wants to potentially do less sessions than two, two a week, just based on time or scheduling or something like that. But even in that scenario, I would recommend that as the expert, you show the person the importance of seeing you more frequently early on. That's all for today's episode. I wanted to keep that nice and short and sharp. I've recorded a full uh, profit podcast episode on this that goes into much more detail, especially around the limiting beliefs and the mindset. So if you aren't already subscribed, head down to the section below. In the description, you'll find the links to the podcast. You can also subscribe to the Profit YouTube channel so that you can catch the upcoming videos. And if you've got any questions, comments, feedback, please feel free to leave them below or head over to Instagram. Again, the links are down below and leave us a comment or a DM there.